Good evening everybody. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all in the best of health. Um, probably many of you are confined to your houses and not allowed to go out, but well, you can still study and there are lots of good things that you can do. Yeah, good evening Count Beauty, nice to see you. Hello there Don the Slon as well. Okay, so the class this evening is going to be what we normal what I normally do. So we're going to try a few um, uh, idioms or a few phrases, a few to start with. And the first one is Jack of all trades. So how do you finish this phrase? He's a jack of all trades and what goes after this good evening victor gabriel good evening 92 boyka as well so jack of all trades mm, what goes with this so good evening crypto good evening filbert good evening mx25 good evening manu so lag as always um but jack of all trades okay Gianluca. yeah okay so jack of all trades master of none as it as jean luca and mx25 have told us so if you say jack of all trades master of none um it means that you're you have a little bit of knowledge about many different things but you're not an expert at anything yeah um you know a bit of this and a bit of that and you can probably repair things but you're not an expert in anything good evening sharma okay so jack of all trades but master of none and master of none this is what we say in English jack of all trades and master of none so let's try the next phrase then what's the next one I've got here for you okay I think maybe we've done this one before it's no use crying it's no use crying what goes with this what goes with this so it's no use crying hmm okay so being there warn the cat what does that mean it means that you've done it before you you know all about it yeah you've probably seen the movie and read the book and you know all about it so good evening elizabeth yeah that sounds great good evening fathy so it's no use crying hey crypto that sounds good it's no use crying it's no use crying. Hmm. Overspilt milk. Here we go. Overspilt milk. Well done, Victor, Gianluca, and Helena. Yeah. Okay. It's no use crying over spilt milk. So, ha. No, no count beauty. So, good evening, Christos. Okay. So, it's no use crying over spilt milk. It means if something bad has happened. You just need to get on with life, yeah? It's no use crying about it. It's no use being really upset, yeah? Um, you just need to get on with your life because it's no use crying over spilled milk, yeah? Lamenting it's not going to help you at all. So let's see what comes next. Oh yes, I like this one. This one says, keep your friends close. Keep your friends close. Yeah, but what's the rest of this one? Keep your friends close. Yeah. Okay, till kingdom come. It means for a very long time, till the end of the world, yeah? As cool as a cucumber, I like that phrase as well. Yeah, do I know where Borstal is? Borstal is a prison for juvenile offenders. Borstal's not a very nice place. So, good evening, Mr. Will. So, keep your friends close 
and your enemy is closer but your enemy is closer well done Count Beauty well done Elizabeth well done Lizzie and but your enemy is closer but enemy is closer well done Victor so it means have your friends around you and know what your friends are doing but be even even more um, vigilant and even more careful and watch what your enemies are doing well done Helena and your enemies closer yeah because uh, your enemies can hurt you so if you know what they're doing it's gonna make your life uh, less easy okay so let's try the next one then the way to a man's heart the way to a man's heart is yeah. okay the way to a man's heart is hmm so how do you get to a man's heart okay I'll see you later Victor Gabriel in and out like a like a yo-yo goes in and out very fast just enter and leave rapidly okay so the way to a man's heart is hmm how do you get to a man's heart so ha, his stomach you well done Fathy is through his stomach that's the idea Christos is through his stomach so Fathy you need a, a preposition yeah is through his stomach well done Helena okay Abdullah his stomach yes okay um so <laughs> and keep your teachers away I love that okay so stomach the way to a man's heart is through his stomach yeah if he if you feed him really well he'll fall in love with you I think that's the idea of this at least yeah I think it probably should take more than that okay so the way to a man's heart is through his stomach and let's try the next one okay this one's easy what goes up what goes up and this is not a question by the way what goes up faster than Jack Robinson really rapidly so the answer to this what goes up is going to appear um, as far just like Jack Robinson why stomach Kenny because it means if you feed him very well then he's going to really like you yeah so um, it's suggesting that if you feed people really well they will feel really good about you yeah so what goes up goes down so notice Christoph firstly comes yeah to go up and to come down to go is to leave where you are and to come is moving towards you so must come down Elena must come down John Luca yes so what goes up must come down I guess if you throw a ball in the air it must come down or maybe this is to do with share prices or different things things go up and then they come down again yeah um, the sky is not necessarily the limit comes is correct absolutely Christos yeah to go and to come you need to be careful with those two okay to go away from where I am and to come to where I am okay and let's continue um where there's a will what comes after this where there's a will where there's a will hmm what goes with this where there's a will where there's a will there are relatives that are fighting no but this is a different idea where there's a will when somebody really wants to do something where there's a will where there's a will ah, so Don the Slong there's a way yes where there's a will okay there is a way okay so what does this mean yes there is a way well done Imani 
and Le Elizabeth yes very definitely where there's a will there's a way a way count beauty yeah so where there's a will there's a way this means if people really really want to do something then they'll find a way of doing it yeah if it seems impossible but you really really want to do it then um uh you will find a solution to it you will find a solution to it even if it seems impossible if you really really want to do it then you will find a way of doing it yeah okay so let's change and i think yeah i think maybe let, let's try a little bit of pronunciation next so i'm going to do the ah uh, ah uh minimal pair ah and ah yes cat cut hat hut must swoop down I like that swoop okay well done Waleed Waheed so cat cut hat hut bat butt cap cup bag bug yeah ah and ah I know there are many people that have difficulty with this minimal pair. So the first one we're going to do with this is ran and run. Yeah, ran and run. So ran, present simple, and run, um, the past simple. So ran, run, then we ran, then we run then we ran then we run so if you're ready i'm going to say one of these two then we run then we run is that one or two then we run one one or two then we run so is that one or two good evening richard <coughs> then we run ran or run then we run one or two so OM goes for RAN, number one. We need some more answers to this. Then we run. Beauty goes two, Jean-Luca goes two, Helena goes two, Elizabeth goes two, Manu says two, and Richard says two. Yep, we're definitely here, it's the second one. Well done, Imani. So I said this one, number two then we run let's try another one okay the next pair are match and much match and much yeah match and much so a match may be to light or a football match and much a lot of he said match he said much he said match he said much so he said match he said much Match, much. So are you ready? I'm going to choose one of these two. He said match. He said match. He said match. Is that one or two? Is that number one or number two? He said match. He said match. One or two. One or two. He said match. Is that one or two? Oh, I'm going for match. Good evening, Ibrahim. Okay, well done, Walid. Yes, it was run. So, Richard goes for one. Gianluca goes for one. Count Beauty goes for one. Hair. Yeah. So, okay, match, not march, match, you know, Im Imani. Okay, Manu goes one. Elizabeth goes one. Abdullah goes one. Yes. So he said match OM and Walid. Yes, I definitely said number one. He said match. Not he said much. He said match. Number one that was. And let's try another pair. Ah, the next pair is sack and suck. Sack and suck. So a sack, a bag, and suck, you suck your drink through a straw. So, he wants a sack and he wants a suck. So, we're going to try this again. Sack and suck. 
He wants a sack. He wants a suck. He wants a sack. He wants a suck. So here goes. He wants a sack. He wants a sack. He wants a sack. One or two. A little bit faster. So OM says one. He wants a sack. One or two guys and girls. He wants a sack. <laughs> so Walid says sack as well. He wants a sack. Richard says sack. Abdullah says sack. Count Beauty says sack. You're all getting these right. Well done, Manu, Helena, Helena. So, he wants a sack. It's number one. You're definitely very good with the difference between these two. Let's try one more of these and then we'll change and I'll try something different. So, yeah. Next one is tan and ton. Tan and ton. Yes, faithy, fathy. So, the next pair is tan and ton. Tan and ton. Yeah, tan and ton. A tan, a suntan where you go brown. And ton, here, as it's written, a thousand kilos. Yeah, he has a tan, he has a ton. He has a tan, he has a ton. So, now time to choose. He has a ton. He has a ton. He has a ton. One or two. One or two. He has a ton. He has a ton. He has a ton. One or two guys and girls. Ah, so, while he goes for tan, he has a ton. He has a ton. He has a ton. So, is this one or two? Richard's going for two, Abdullah's going for two, Beauty's going for two, Gianluca's going for two. Yes, you're correct. You're correct. He has a ton. Well done, Crypto. Well done, Helena. Well done, Manu. Well done, Elizabeth. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yep, he has a ton. That's definitely number two. Okay, so I think it's time to change, and I think we're going to do a story now. So this story is called The Jackdaw and the Eagle. So let me just make a bit of clear space here. Okay, this story is about a jackdaw and an eagle. So an eagle, you know, this is a bird of prey, a bird that flies high in the sky, big, big bird. And the jackdaw, this is a bird that likes to steal shiny things. Normally the jackdaw's feathers are black and white and it's related to a crow or to a raven. Asymptomatic, 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 means no symptoms. So somebody who has a, you can have a disease but just not get sick from it. Yeah, the virus comes into you, it multiplies but it doesn't do anything to you and that's asymptomatic. So this is about the jackdaw and the eagle. The jackdaw, this black and white bird that likes to steal shiny things, and the eagle. And there are going to be two questions. The first question is how did the jackdaw become trapped? Yeah? How did the jackdaw become trapped? And the other one is what moral would you give to the story? So there are one or two words here. Listen. When an eagle seized a newborn lamb from the flock and carried it off in his claws as a feast for his chicks, the jackdaw decided to do the same thing. So the jackdaw swooped down and seized a lamb, but his claws got tangled in the wool on the lamb's back and the lamb was too heavy for him to lift, so he could not escape. So, two questions. First question, how did the jackdaw become trapped? And then the second question, what moral would you give this story? Okay, a prototype is just, um, 
uh, the, one of your first versions of something. You want to see if it works, so you make a prototype, and then maybe you make lots more of them if it works well. It's like an example of a machine, but a real working one. So, the questions. How did the jackdaw become trapped, and what moral would you give this story? So let me read it again. When an eagle seized a newborn lamb from the flock and carried it off in his claws as a feast for his chicks, the jackdaw decided to do the same thing. So he swooped down and seized the lamb, but his claws got tangled in the wool on the lamb's back, and the lamb was too heavy for him to lift, so he could not escape. So let's see. Okay, the lamb with a B count beauty was an overkill, so the lamb was overkill. Normally we don't use overkill countably. Yeah, we so the, the lamb was overkill for the jackdaw. His claws were trapped in the wool of the lamb. L A M B. Ba baby lamb. Okay, his claws were too tiny and got dangled in the wool of the lamb. So the word's not dangled. I need to give you this word. The word is, let me write it at the bottom here, tangled. Yeah? So my hair is really tangled. I need to brush it. Yeah? I need to brush my hair because my hair is tangled. Yeah? Or maybe I've got lots of tangled cables. My t cables are all tangled. Yeah, knotted up. Yeah, tangled. Okay, so let's see some more. The jackdaw swooped down in order to catch the naive lamb B on, but unfortunately ended up trapping ended up trapping his claws getting trapped in his heavy wool. Okay, that's good, Boyka. Don't try things you can't do. That's very good. Well done, L-A-M-P, Crypto. Okay, what does the word practical mean prefer when referring to a person? A person who is practical finds easy solutions to things. They use what's available and they find a solution. They don't think of lots of theories or try crazy ideas that don't work. So, let's see. Um, Helen, Helena, the jackdaw's claws got tangled in the wool of the lamb. Yeah, but the question is, yeah, that's, that, that's how he became trapped. His claws got tangled. Um, ha, the jackdaw's feathers got tangled in the tree. I think his claws got tangled in the wool and he was too heavy to lift. So, Gianluca, moral. Do what you can do, no more. Do not mimic what others do if it's too much for you. That's great English, Gianluca. Think twice, cut once. Okay, that's, I like that, Helena, as well. And um, the moral is, what is allowed for an eagle does not suit for the jackdaw. Like, know your place. So, wait a second, Count Beauty. Um, the moral is, what is allowed for an eagle does not suit a jackdaw. Know your place. That's good. So, on. Um, don't imitate others blindly. It may land you in difficult situations. And do everything with utmost attention. Great English. Maybe the feathers got tangled in the tree. Maybe as, w maybe as well, but I don't know there was a tree. His claws, his fingernails, got tangled in the wool. Okay, so let's see. Let me put the text up now. I think it's definitely time for me for me to show you the text. And 
and you'll have to be patient a second because normally it takes a while for us to get through the lag. Good evening Rita. So faster than grease lightning extremely rapidly that's all it means extremely rapidly yeah he ran faster than grease lightning he ran extremely rapidly okay so here's the story when an eagle seized a newborn lamb from the flock and carried it off in his claws as a feast for his chicks the jackdaw decided to do the same thing. So he swooped down and seized the lamb, but his claws got tangled in the wool on the lamb's back, and the lamb was too heavy for him to lift, and so he could not escape. So when an eagle seized, to seize means to grab, to take, to take rapidly, yeah? To take with force or strength. Here, steal. So when an eagle took a newborn lamb, bah, from the flock. The flock is the group of sheep. And carried it off in his claws. So claws are the fingernails but big long ones of an animal, the claws of a tiger, the claws of a lion, the claws of a cat, as a feast, as a super yummy meal for his chicks, for his babies. The jackdaw decided to do the same thing. So he, the jackdaw, swooped down, he flew down, and seized and grabbed a lamb but his claws got tangled in the wool so if something is tangled it's all mixed up yeah particularly with a line so i need to brush my hair because my hair is tangled yeah um i got my fishing line tangled in a tree yeah um okay so to get something tangled my the uh, my knitting i was knitting with some wool and my wool got tangled so the claws got tangled trapped in the wool on the lamb's back and the lamb was too heavy for him to lift so he could not escape yeah okay the jackdaw just got are stuck so to wreak havoc to cause disaster to wreak havoc to break everything quick sticks i'm not sure what quick sticks are i have to look that one up yeah okay so to wreak havoc to destroy everything the storm wreaked havoc um to say the least, so if we use this phrase to say the least, it's probably um, understating the situation. That car must cost $10,000 at the least, most probably a lot more. So, um, the glass with carton that we find in the cafe. I don't know, Boyka. So, let's try some questions. Which gemstone is blue? So, all you need to do is just answer the question. Which gemstone is blue? Yeah, which gemstone is blue? Hmm, which gemstone is blue? So, guys, guys and girls, which gemstone is blue? Hmm, which gemstone is blue? Which gemstone is blue? Hmm, which gemstone is blue? 
So, hey, you need to understand the question to start with. Which gemstone is blue? Hmm, which gemstone is blue? To have a lot of ground to cover, you need to do a lot of, to do a lot of different things. In today's lesson, we have a lot of ground to cover. We need to look at a lot of different things. Jean Luca, thank you very much. Yeah. So, which gemstone is blue? Yeah. Gemstone with a G. Yes, crypto, a diamond could be blue, yeah? A spinel could be blue, but more commonly, yeah. A turquoise. I guess a turquoise is also blue, Elizabeth. I like that. Okay. Your sun is blue. So which stem, stem gemstone is blue? A sapphire. Yeah? Ah, let's try another question then. Um, yeah, what do you put inside a glove? What do you put inside a glove? Lapis lazuli. I love that. Zircon, cubic zircon, cubic zircon is normally clear, yeah? So, the question, what do you put inside a glove? What do you put inside a glove? Mm, what do you put inside a glove? This one's easy. What do you put inside a glove? What do you put inside a glove? Eh, yeah. okay, it's probably the lag waiting for you to answer. What do you put inside a glove? Yeah. What do you put inside a glove? Ah, hey, Gianluca, your hand, absolutely. Yeah, you put your hand inside a glove. Yeah, when it's cold, you wear gloves. What do you put inside the glove? Your hand, your palms, I like that. Yeah? So, your hand, your hand, well done. So, Jenny's lawyer, well done. Elizabeth, well done. I wouldn't put, I put my feet into the socks. Well done, Cam Beauty, the palms definitely works. Okay, your hands, Manu, yes, that sounds great. And oh, and my fingers to get them warm. Yeah, when it's cold, you need something to get you warm. And then one final question before we finish tonight. Where does ivory come from? Where does ivory come from? Where does fingers, that'll do, Rita. Your hand, well done, Helena. Yeah? So, where does ivory come from? Where does ivory come from? Where does ivory come from? Hmm. So, where does ivory come from? Yeah. Yeah, your connection is starting to misbehave. Yeah, there are a lot of people on... Uh, on the internet, and I think mine's probably starting to misbehave as well. So, okay, Victor Gabriel, you're back, and we're just about to finish. So, the last question Where does ivory come from? Well done, Mitra. First in there with elephants, and MX25, Gianluca. Tusks, yeah, that's good, Richard. The tusks are the teeth of the elephant. No, ivory, this is keratin. The ivory comes from elephants. The ivory, well done, Boyka, is the tusk from the elephant. A mammoth, a walrus, a hippopotamus. Um, I'm not sure a sperm whale, but a narwhal, yes. Um, and a warthog <laughs> from China. I love it, Elena. From India boy elephants, from Indian boy elephants. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try not to die of coronavirus, crypto, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I love that, Cam Beauty, from a piano. To tinkle the ivories, to play the piano. That's, That's a great phrase, Cam Beauty. So, yes, Rita, elephants. Ivory comes from my house. Contact me if you want. Yes, Victor, that's it. So, that's enough for today guys and gals thank, thank you very much for coming we will have class again at the same time tomorrow whatever the rest of the world does with the time this is when we're going to have class 
So I will see you all next week, same time, same channel. Yeah? Take care and thanks for coming, all of you. Good night. Stay healthy.